I want to thank both mayors for inviting me to Muna. <coughs> and someday we'll get out of the trailers, the police department will be whole again. But they're serving our purpose right now, right, Dennis? Yes, sir. Serving our purpose right now. Right, Chief? So we saw the first-hand devastation caused by Hurricane Sandy. Some of the worst impacts seen right here in Munaki and Littleford. Eighty percent of Munaki was under water. We're at a place which was under water. Am I exaggerating? The police department, city hall, are still being housed in these FEMA trailers. And I want to thank those first responders who live with this day in and day out. Work so hard to evacuate these towns after the Hackensack River overflowed its banks due to a record shattering tidal surge. You put your lives on the line. There's no other way to put it out in the Middle East. Across the entire country, the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office estimates that the sequestration, the cutting across the board with a meat cleaver, will cost this nation. 750,000 jobs. This is what they want to do. The country is at stake to partisan politics. The country is at stake to partisan politics. And I expect every Democrat and Republican in New Jersey and New York and Connecticut to have the guts, and I'd say something else not there, but there are women in this room, to have the guts to stand up, stand up for a change and not be over looking at you over your shoulder to the next election. That's the problem with politics today. Everybody's waiting for their next election. And the people do not get serviced or served. Uh, I say, you know, people have to earn a living. If they're doing it honestly, if they have to make equipment for our military, they, 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 they have a great part of our economy. Whether you're teachers, if you're a police officer, firefighters, both the COPS program and uh, the SAFER Act and the FIRE Act, they're going to be slashed, not only this year, beginning the process of years to come. They've been trying to do this for the last seven or eight years. They're full of baloney when they say they want to protect America. They are lying to the American people. Consequences come from lies, mostly. Yeah. Congressman, what's your gut instinct? It's not what you want, obviously not what you want, but what's your gut instinct of what will happen by the time prior to the I don't think we're going to do anything. I think it's just going to happen. And if we don't do anything to stop it by Friday, it automatically goes into effect. Because that's what we did last year. We said March the 1st, the sequestration will start if we have not come up with a balanced plan to reduce the budget and to improve the economy.